All right, ready, ready. I am on to video number three for the evening. I don't have a lot of time in my schedule lately to make videos, so when I get a little time, I'm trying to knock them out. Um, I like to get just get it out of my head if I have an idea. So I made one on my 2022 TRD Tacoma on some issues I've had with the brake lights. I just made one on my 2011 Forerunner on the mods I've been doing. And I've been waiting to make a video on a new pair of sunglasses that I just rec recently got. I have been a tried and true fan of the Oakley Gas Can. Is that, if that's how you say it, Gas Can, Gas Can, whatever. But these are the ones I have been sporting for God knows how long. And the biggest reason, or a couple of reasons, first and foremost, I have a huge melon. Now I made a video in my last one, I, I did a shout out to this company that makes these, well they sell these trucker hats and they put this vintage uh, Toyota logo on them and um, just give you an idea of how large my melon is. For me to get a hat to fit, if you can see that, I am almost on the last little tab. If I wear a fitted hat, like a um, like the the flex fit hats, I have to wear a 2XL. So I got a big meaty head. Plus, I'm a power lifter, and if this is even a thing, the muscles in my temples are actually thick. So when I wear glasses, I there aren't many that I can wear. Like these are Wayfair uh, Ray Bans, but these are a, a oversized pair. I had to order these special because regular Wayfarers, they look like little kids glasses on me. So anyway, over the years, the only sunglasses I ever found that I felt like fit my head and looked halfway decent were these Gaskins. Now, I have replaced the lenses in these things numerous times. Um, you can buy them on eBay for next to nothing. Um, you can get them polarized, you can get them anti-fog, whatever you want. But these have been my tried and true glasses, and I didn't think I would ever sway from them. But for shits and giggles, I was looking, I'll put my glasses back on so I could see you. I was uh, on um, online the other day, and for whatever reason, these next pair popped up, and I ended up buying them because they had a couple options that mine don't have. First off, I wanted to go with something that was a different color. I seem to always veer towards buying black shit. Um, but these are the Desert Tan. And these are called the SI, which stands for Standard Issue Debt Cord um, Oakleys. And technically, these are a little bit bigger than these. These are 60 millimeters and these are 61 millimeters. Now, these fit my head a lot tighter than these, and it might just be because these are older and looser. But the options these have over these, which they look very similar. Um, these might be a little more rectangular than these, but these are a ballistic grade glass. So you can use these as a pair of um, safety glasses. If you're at work or if you're military, um, these would meet, these are, these are these meet mil spec standards, plus they have this, um, um, what, you, what would you call it, tactical um, space where you can put a comm, um, and they're ambidextrous, so you can put them on the left or right. So isn't that cool? Very tactical. So when I'm out, you know, driving, I gotta attach my comm. Uh, no, I'm just joking. So if you are in military, active duty, and you look for a pair of glasses that are comm compatible, these will do the trick the lenses are anti-fog and what i like over these is if you look at the nose piece it's just hard plastic they add a rubberized nose guard so what that does is when you're sweating your ass off the glasses won't slide up and down your nose so i got a major ugly mug but to give you an idea of what they look like on me there you go and these are in the desert tan I uh, went with those over the black because everything I wear, is, every, all my glasses are black. So these are the desert tan with the big beard. So I do like them. They fit my head really well. 
I don't feel like they look small on my big massive melon. And uh, I like the anti-fog because these do fog up on me when I'm working outside. I do like it has a little rubber rubber nose insert so it won't slide down your face. And I do do a lot of plinking. So it is kind of nice to know if a shell does come back, catch you in the eye, or if I'm working outside and something random flies up, you know, it will add some level of protection to your face. So anyway, that is my comparison of the two sunglasses that I do wear all the time. So I can't say enough about the gas cans. You can buy Gaskins, Gaskin, gas can, whatever you want to say. You can get these really cheap now on eBay. A good Oakley site, you're going to pay like $180 for them. I see one there for like 70, 80 bucks. And they do have knockoffs, but if you know what you're looking for, you can find the real deal. Um, these I bought on eBay from an actual Oakley um, seller. And I paid 120 for these. Go to Oakley site, you're going to pay uh, you know, 170, 180 or whatever. So very very great very good pair of sunglasses i love them i just love how they slip on your head um and i will be wearing those in a, as well as my gaskins i got two pair of these and i basically just keep them in all my vehicles um so i don't have to transform transport them around because if i'm not wearing those i'm wearing my glasses um i am far-sighted i have these for near sight so like right now um, if I'm not looking through my glasses, it's a big old blur, but ironically, I can see four miles, um, in the distance, but anyway, just want to make a short video on those. Just throw my little review, my two cents out on, if you're interested, um, check them out. Thanks. Bye.